Now that our exterior is watertight, we're inside and we're gonna deal with air and thermal. We're gonna do that using a spray foam application around the perimeter of the window. This method will actually apply no matter what your WRB is on the outside. Our goal here is not to completely fill the void. We're just trying to fill the first inch or so from our side towards the outside. It leaves an open area on the outside of the window that if we ever have any moisture in that assembly, it's able to migrate out. We're taking special care to be using the correct foam in this assembly. This is a formulation made for windows and doors, which means it's not gonna cause our jams to bow or bind in any way. Now that our foam's installed, we'll let it dry, trim back any that needs to be cut away, and then we have one more air sealing detail. Now that we've given the foam a few moments to skin over, we can apply a sealant over any shim that we have. That will bridge from foam across the shim and back to the foam, making one continuous air seal. With those last beads of sealant in place, the interior is detailed, the exterior is detailed, and we're confident that this is gonna be a leak-free installation.